Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and probate attorney in New York. Today's topic, can you revoke a power of attorney by text message? Before I get to that, if you would like to read anything that I've written, or if you'd like to make an appointment, please go to my website, frankbrunolaw.com. Today it was uh, uh, involved in a conversation with a, uh, a daughter uh, that had her father revoke her power of attorney by, fa uh, by text. So uh, this particular person had been the power of attorney for her dad and she became at odds with him and she received a text message not so, um, it, it really wasn't a very, um, it was brief. Let's say it was brief. I don't want you to be my power of attorney. Is that valid? Well, it is valid. I believe it's valid. It's my professional opinion that it can be revoked like that. Now, power of attorney is a document that can be rescinded revoked at any time by the person that has given the power of attorney. You can revoke it uh, in writing with a revocation form. Uh, it should have certain information in it, such as um, the date of the original power of attorney, um, a statement that you want the power revoked, and uh, it should be signed and notarized. Now, even though I just said that, I think that the text message, um, it, it doesn't follow uh, the, um, the exact methodology that should be appropriate. It does follow the spirit, right? So the, uh, the power of attorney should be able to be revoked. At least my understanding is that it can be revoked, revoked in writing. And in other instances, text messages have been considered a writing. And when a person, when an agent um, is going to use the power of attorney, they have to sign uh, an affirmation, that's a sworn statement, an affidavit or uh, yes it's affirmation sworn statement that says that the power of attorney is in full force and effect and it was not rescinded or revoked and the person is still alive so in good faith you cannot state that or swear to that if you receive the a text message canceling you now does it get more complicated? Probably, if you think that the person that's revoking it is not of sound mind, then it doesn't revoke it. And or, if you think someone else was in control of this phone. So, if you need me to help you navigate these issues, please reach out to me. Frank at frankbrunolaw.com Thank you.